Oh my God. What is up, everybody? This took me forever and ever to get working, but we finally got it. Please give me a thumbs up just for that alone because today I'm about to be dropping some gems. I'm about to teach y'all how to mix and master. And to be honest with you, it's not that hard at all. I only use two plugins, like literally two plugins to mix and master. But today I got this beat that I did like a couple hours ago, or maybe I did it yesterday. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was a couple hours ago. But yeah, I'm about to play it. It's not mixed. I put everything back to default except for this right here. But yeah, everything is on default and I'm about to play it. And basically, I'm going to show you how to get to this. It's real simple, real simple. Um, the only thing is, you're going to need Ozone 8. Now, if you don't have Ozone 8, you can buy it, or you can find another way to get it. Um, I can't really tell you how to get it that way, because I don't want no copy strikes, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be someone in the comment section um, saying how to get it, but you didn't hear that from me. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to play it. The first thing we're going to start with is the melody. And as you can see, it's a lot of frequencies going on. So basically, all we're going to do is we're going to cut all of that in half, pretty much. So drag this to Mixer 1 or whichever insert you want to. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this knob all the way down. And we're going to turn the right knob all the way down. And what that does is the left knob is going to cut out all the frequencies for the bass so that your bass and your kicks can hit harder. And the knob to the right is going to cut off all the frequencies for your hi-hats and your claps. So we're going to play it again and see the difference. And it basically cut out a lot of stuff, but we're going to turn it down some. Because what I like to do is, I like to turn down my melodies or my samples. And I like to... um pretty much like all my instruments basically be louder than it so it can make my job for mastering easier so let me play it again and there we go we pretty much halfway there well 90% there to be honest with you and we're just going to turn on all of our drums As you see, I don't have anything on any insert to put effects on. I only have um, my sample. So we're going to go to the master and we're going to get Ozone 8. Now, all I do on Ozone 8 is literally, um, well, let me show you. I go to presets. I go to this Greg Calby. I don't know his last name. I click that. I go to smooth bass. I press close. And then I play it. Now you see, you see a big difference in what we just came from to where we are now. Now all we have to do is just make some quick adjustments with the hi-hats and the claps and that's really not that much. So put this on insert two. What I like to do is I like to turn this down a little bit. Because the hi-hats is a, like loud and staticky to me. So I just turn that a little bit down to reduce that. And for my claps, I usually just put reverb on it. That's 
basically it. Like, you might still need to adjust some things, but that's pretty much the whole idea of it. You don't have to go around, like, putting a thousand plugins on just to make something sound nice. Like, that's literally all you do. And I'm here to tell you, this is literally all you do. So, with that being said, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything I missed out, please tell me. Um, I do not do side chaining. I don't like side chaining. I don't know why. I don't like the way it sounds. But other than that, if there's anything I missed out that you like to do when you mix a master, you could tell me because this is not the only way to learn how to mix, like, to do the mixing and mastering. Like, it's thousands of ways, but this is my way. And if you want an improvement quicker, just do my way. But other than that, peace. See y'all later, man.